I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, we are celebrating a new month, celebrating a new year. Today, I want to talk about the vision of empowered world changers. And indeed, we have been talking about this theme because it's the theme of this year, empowered world changers. Today, I want to talk about the vision of world changers. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up. This passage talks about Isaiah having a new vision. Of course, he had known the Lord for quite some time, but now he was seeing God in a new way. The Bible says in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. There was a new vision coming to the surface. A vision to be a world changer. Talking about three things today. We need to see God. We need to see ourselves. And we need to see the world. This is the challenge that God brought to Isaiah. And if we are going to be world changers, we must, number one, see God. We must see God for who he is. In this particular place, God showed himself as one who was seated on a throne, high and lifted up. I want to declare today that in this year, God is seated on the throne and he is high and lifted up. If we're going to change the world and to have the world change as mindset, we must see God not as a defeated God, not as a God who is in a box, but God who is on a throne, high and lifted up. In another passage, it says, God is the Lord who is the most high God. He is a conqueror. He is more than able. He is able to supply all that we need according to his riches and glory. And so, number one, we must see God. Number two, we need to see ourselves in that light. In this particular passage, it says that Isaiah saw the Lord and then he said, Woe is me. For I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people who were of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Now, that particular time, Isaiah said, Woe is me. I think the question we need to ask today is, Who is me? Not, Woe is me. He says, Who is me? Who are you? Who do you see yourself to be? We've just come from a year where God told us that we are royalty. In this year, God is saying, we are empowered world changers. See yourself in a new light. See yourself as God himself sees you. You are a world changer. You are not only a world changer, you are an empowered world changer. The issue is not how you're going to change the world. The issue is that you are a world changer. God has called you out. He has picked you out to make a difference starting from where you are. So, the vision of world changers. Number one, see God high and lifted up. See yourself as the person that God is going to use in this season. But thirdly, see the world. You know, God said to Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 5, uh, verse 8, he said, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? God needs a representative in this world. God needs somebody in your sphere of influence. God wants to change the world, but he wants to start from where you are. Do you see your world? Is it the educational world? Is it the judiciary world? Is it the political world? Which world are you seeing? God wants to change that world, and God wants to use you. So, the vision of world changes, number one, See God high and lifted up. See yourself as the one God is going to use. Don't sit there and say, woe is me. Um, there's nothing I can do. God brought his son Jesus Christ and he has shifted the way you think. But thirdly, see the world. God wants to be represented in your world. Will you arise in this season to make a difference? You are a world changer starting today. Don't wait up to August. It starts now. You are an empowered world changer. God bless you.